right so in this problem <clears throat> once you check after loading what already i said the mass and length of the string is not changed he is changing once you look the question mass is increased by 2% okay mass is increased by 2% means look at to find out the percentage change in the velocity of transverse wave how that velocity depends upon the mass i wrote here by taking t equals to mg okay directly proportional to root m finally i got here from the equation v is equals to root of t by t. okay so first one what he asked here m is increased by 2% look at the percentage is very small if the percentage is small i think uh, either from my teaching or from other uh, other source teaching you know one point here if the percentage changes are small whether in physics or chemistry anywhere directly you can apply the log and differentiate this equation to find out the percentage change is it correct what i said yes since the percentage is small in first case two percent yeah apply log and differentiate that implies from the equation log b is directly proportional to uh, root m log root m that implies log v is equals to of course some constant k into okay or else no need to write that constant why because after differentiating that constant becomes zero so better directly I write log v is equals to log root m means uh, uh, mathematics students you know this is half log m m power half half taken to here now by differentiating you will get one by v into dv this is and this is half into differentiation one by m into dm okay right any doubt in my explanation here nana no okay right then here dv means change in the value by v means original value percentage means into 100 we have to take so here dv by v i am writing into 100 is equals to half into dm by m into 100 so this is the percentage change in mass and this is percentage change in velocity that implies percentage change in velocity is equals to i write half into percentage change in mass is given as increased by two percent so plus two percent increased so i am getting two to get cancelled plus one percent plus means velocity is also increased here that implies velocity is increased by one percent since I got plus here, increased by 1%. Okay. Ah, right. Good. So you understood this explanation Anna, for small change of percentage? Okay. And do you have any doubts in the middle? No doubts. Very good. Then come back to the second one here. The percentage here also increased means plus 21 percent he gave 21 is not small percentage ah, okay no, no. small percentage okay not a small percentage means you should not follow the same method applying the log and differentiating so it is not valid if the percentages are more am i right 
is this method valid for big percentages say yes or no valid for big percentages no ah good not valid then what to do sir then look at here my explanation for the second one yeah yeah for the second one percentage change mass is increased by increased eh increased what happened mass is increased by 21% okay in this case in percentages suppose if i consider initially the mass suspended as say some 100 kg shall i write the mass suspended later after increasing the mass by 21% Shall I write it as hundred increased plus twenty one, which is equals to one twenty one kg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I am saying. Okay. If the percentage mass is more, so initially in percentages I am taking it as hundred. Finally, I am taking it as hundred plus twenty one, one twenty one. Okay. Then. according to the formula t is directly proportional to root sorry v is directly proportional to root m here okay uh, i write v is directly proportional to root m means v1 by v2 i write it as root of m1 by m2 at that i think you will get in single step you can say root 100 is 10 and root uh, m2 is root 121 is sorry 11 after substituting m1 and m2 over here ah uh, right 10 and 11 okay this is v1 by v2 okay so here what he is asking percentage change in the velocity okay i write here percentage change in the velocity is equals to actually delta v by v into 100 which is nothing but v2 minus v1 by v1 into 100 okay v2 i am taking here it as 11 minus v1 i take it as 10 by v1 i take it as from the ratio 10 into 100 So look at here. This is one by ten into hundred. That becomes simply ten percent. Yeah. Now is it clear, Nana? Do you have any doubt in my explanation for the second part? No doubt. Very good. Right. So when the mass is increased by two percent. Velocity is increased by about one percent. When the mass is increased by twenty-one percent, I got here the percentage change in velocity as ten percent. Okay, this is one model. Usually, they ask in exams to find out the velocity of sound in a stretched string. Okay, one model now. Right. Now look at the second model here. okay that is the first example coming to the second example here suppose in this case same type of question okay this is a support and it is a string stretched horizontally like this as usual pass through over a pulley and again this part of string is negligible and here at the other end some load is suspended as usual this is the load 
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So here after suspending, what happens sir? if you see there? Okay. Uh, he is saying that initially the block means the mass or simply I say load to understand properly. The load is in A. Okay. Later, it is completely immersed in a liquid. Okay. Uh, by that, what happened? The velocity of transfer swift. is decreased by say some two percent or one percent okay find the specific gravity of the load okay this is what he is asking. Simply the specific gravity, that is the question. Okay, actually represented with the letter sigma. Means he is saying that first time it is in air atom, later it is immersed in a liquid atom. This is a liquid. Okay, completely immersed. Okay, it is completely immersed in a liquid. Right, this is the liquid. Now try to understand and analyze the question here. If the mass is in air, the tension in the string is equals to initially I write in air, the tension in the string is equals to weight of the object like in the previous problem okay i think you don't have any doubt in this point okay but later this one you have to say in a liquid is the weight of object still remains as mg or if it is not correct then what will be the weight of the object in the liquid? If you are able to say the weight of the object in liquid, that is the tension in the string after immersing the object in the liquid. Okay. I don't know whether you remembered this point or not from mechanical properties of fluids from, of course, uh, first year. When an object is completely immersed in a liquid, then its weight becomes mg into 1 minus 1 by sigma. Anyone remember this formula? Uh, sir, to some extent only, sir. Yes. Oh, oh. Then you are very good in first year. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Keep it up. Remember, okay, good. So weight of the object in a liquid after immersing is mg into 1 minus 1 by sigma. So when the weight of the object is changed according to force of buoyancy concept, then obviously tension also will be changed. So tension is changed. When the tension is changed, surely the velocity of... Ah, some part only remember. <laughs> Sharma, what can I do? Uh, right, I try to recollect or revise once the first year mechanical properties of fluids. There you can search. Okay, 
course of Bayancy Archimedes principle, there you can find this formula mg into 1 minus 1 by sigma. Okay. So here, when the tension is changed, surely the velocity will be changed. Okay, is it fine on amok? Okay, we will see. Right. So here, in that question, he gave, okay, first I write, what the formula to be obeyed here? Uh, tension is changed, so velocity will be changed according to this formula. Okay, uh, that one I write here, V uh, percentage is small or big? Uh, velocity is decreased by 1%. Velocity percentage change is small. So again, I apply log and differentiate. After differentiating what I get already I found here in this problem is the percentage is small, like 2%. In this problem, he gave 1%. So I'm not following this method. Okay, method two, I am following the method one. So directly I am copying this formula from here, control C, dV by V into 100 is equal to half into dM by M into 100. Okay, right. So directly I am going to there. This is delta V by V is equals to delta M by M. Okay, delta V by V is given as 1%. Okay, and here delta M by M is nothing but M2 minus M1 by M1. Okay, so this is nothing but 1% means 1 by 100 and this is nothing but M2 by M1 minus 1. Okay, and keep in mind decreased by 1%, so it will be minus. Okay, minus 1 by 100. So here the M2 by M1 is nothing but if I write from these two, T1 by T2, I will get 1 by 1 minus 1 by sigma. Okay, sir, why you are writing this one, sir? Look at V is directly proportional, uh, sorry, T is directly proportional, T equals to Mg nana. Are you following? Okay. Any confusion here? Ah, yes, yes, Sharma. That's what I'm saying. Others are uh, no, sir, clear. Okay. Right. Better to understand very clearly. Uh, no confusion. Sure. Okay, right. So half into dm by dm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Better I write to understand very clearly here uh, to avoid some confusion in this part. Uh, since v is directly proportional to root t, straight away applying the log and differentiate, I write a half into delta t by t. I think this is comfortable for you. Okay, by applying log and differentiating this equation, right? So here, delta T by T, ah, comfortable. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know your mindset. Na. So delta T by T is nothing but what? T2 minus, ah, <laughs> T2 by T2 minus T1 by T1. So this is T2 by T1 minus 1 that T2 by T1, I am going to write here from the previous page. Look at that. T2 by T1. Mg, Mg get cancelled. T2 by T1, simply you will get 1 minus 1 by sigma. Okay, Nana? That implies here delta t by t I'm getting is equals to t2 by t1, which is 1 minus 1 by sigma minus t2 by t1 minus 1. So you are getting this is minus 1 by sigma. Okay. Now come to here and substitute the values. That implies delta v by v minus 1 by 100 equals to minus one a half 
sorry actually half into delta t by t i am going to substitute minus 1 by sigma uh, uh, uh amok i think your answer is wrong minus minus get cancel ah yes 2 sigma is equals to i am getting 100 that implies sigma is equals to i am getting 50 who is correct you are i ah yeah thank you thank you so no calculation mistake is there okay in my explanation okay any mistake you found nana <laughs> okay no mistake all are correct okay very good very good all of you checked nana this one <laughs> thank you sharma okay so sigma is equals to 50 so understood this second model nana means this problem yeah yeah good good very good very good okay uh, here actually you observe not only the concept related to this chapter which is v is directly proportional to root t but also a concept he involved that is the weight of an object in a liquid okay using the buoyancy concept okay it is a modal mix of two concepts one from waves other from mechanical properties of fluids okay good this is one more more able to follow on all these things or else any confusion in the middle yes okay very good very good yeah able to follow right good 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 okay and then here suppose if they ask like following very good very good uh yesterday i told one formula example liquid means water or another type of uh, the, if it is water then you will get this is different now it is some liquid even I also don't know what kind of liquid here I placed. Okay. All right, right. Good. Means this is actually rho S by rho L. Nana. Density of solid by density of liquid. That liquid I don't know. If I say it is water, then directly you can say density of solid is equals to 50 gram per cc. Why? Because if density of water equals to 1 in CGS system. All of you know. Am I right? If I say the liquid is water, directly you can say density of solids are equals to 50 gram per cc, sir. Why? Because since rho of water equals to 1 gram per cc. Ah, understood. Very good, very good, very good. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, a small answer. Very good. That's why I'm not mentioning it is a layer. It is a liquid, but not a water. Okay. I just mentioned it is a liquid. <coughs> okay, then. Come back to here. Uh, yesterday, I said V is equals to root of T by mu. That is uh, mu is A into rho. By this, I wrote one formula stress by rho which is equal to root of y into strain by rho that is root of y by rho strain is elongation by length okay remember this one Lana? ah right good now, what I am saying related to the formula, I am asking 
a string is stretched between two supports and plucked to produce an elongation of first time 0 0.1 millimeter second time okay this is like a 0 point plus say some 9 millimeter okay uh, if the speed of wave in second case is uh, say some 2.1 meter per second then find the speed in the first case Okay, this is the question. I think already you got some idea for this question. Got the idea, Nana? Two elongations, two velocities. Okay. Two elongations means wire is a stretcher at a stretcher means suppose comes at an instant like this after plucking. Ah, yeah. Is it 0 0.7? Maybe. I think you are right. Okay. Means producing some elongation in the string. Due to the elongation, how? We are not changing the nature of material of the wire nano. So why row constants? L is the initial length. We are not changing the initial length. That's why Y constant, Rho constant, and L constant. Therefore, you can write V is directly proportional to root E. Since all the three are constants. Ah, yeah, yeah, Lakshmi Gayatri. You are right. Okay, you both are correct. Simply, I write here V1 by V2 is equals to root of E1 by E2. That's it. It is a simple question compared to the remaining two. Okay. So, here I write what that implies V1 by second time he said velocity of sound as 2.1 is equals to root of E1. First time given as 0 0.1 millimeter second time 0 0.9 millimeter okay so v v by 2.1 is equals to you are getting after taking the square root point point get cancel 1 by 9 that becomes 1 by 3 3 0 0.7 za. so 0 0.7 into 1 cross multiplication you will get v equals to 0 0.7 meters per second understood nana i don't know whether I set at the comfortable speed or at more speed. Understood. It is in millimeter only now. now millimeter, millimeter get cancelled at the numerator and denominator. Normal speed only. Okay, thank you, Isha. <laughs> so here millimeter, 0 0.9 millimeter, millimeter units are get cancelled. Okay. Good. This is the way how to solve the problems related to the stretch string. String is stretched horizontally. Okay. Right. Then here, just you try to solve few questions. Uh, from here. Are you able to see this one, Nana?
yes yes uh, look at this assignment here suppose uh, we are going to suppose ra ra solve this one okay e here look at first question this is the equation of a wave pulse given like this 0 0.8 by 4x plus 5t plus 4 okay uh, sir this kind of equation we don't know sir no need to worry it is just like kx plus omega t that you try to understand so y is a function of kx plus omega t right then the amplitude velocity of the pulses r he is asking now okay first i think whether it is traveling along negative x axis or positive x axis straight away you can say what do you say ah uh, negative why because you got the positive sign here you got the positive sign means the wave travels along negative x axis negative x axis means straight away you can eliminate these two options okay so out of these two here one is correct right here the velocity of pulse in both the cases he gives same so velocity of strictly speaking unnecessary to find out right but our mind won't accept now so we try to find out even though it is unnecessary okay we are tuned to waste the time in the examination hall so here we try to waste the time even in the class also okay v is equals to omega by k we know it so omega t omega is 5 and k is 4 5 by 4 that is equals to 1.25 ammaya we wasted some time here unnecessarily it is really required or not required nana you only conclude actually not required why because in all four options he give the speed as 1.25 it is unnecessary this is what we say chadastam okay so with that chadastam finally we found ah yeah 5 by 4 that is 1.25 okay now our ego satisfies yeah i found that value only he gave here in the two options and then come back here we are finding out some difference in the first part what is that he is asking amplitude <laughs> actually not required yes correct amplitude okay amplitude y equals to suppose something is given a like sine kx plus or minus omega t something is suppose given this whole thing we take it as one then the maximum displacement how much we are getting that we say here amplitude okay look at the equation oh amplitude is nothing but maximum displacement oh when we get the displacement maximum we get the displacement maximum when the denominator is minimum are you following my logic nana okay when the denominator is minimum then the displacement is maximum when the denominator is minimum then denominator is minimum when x is equals to zero and also t equals to zero both are equals to zero am i right then you will get a minimum value in the denominator zero plus four that is the minimum value will you accept what do you say about my explanation the denominator yeah yes yes that's what i'm coming to here amok yeah so here the denominator is minimum when x is equals to zero and t is equals to zero that i write here when 
x is equals to 0, comma t equals to 0, y is maximum. That implies amplitude is equals to, I write 0 0.8 by 4, that is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 means, which is the option on the first one. So you understood my explanation? Yes, good. This is the way how smartly we have to identify the options from the given four options. Any doubt here in this question? Right. These things won't come as the screenshots, Nana. That's why if you want the screenshot, now only for each and every problem, you take the screenshot. Okay, seventh one, this is the question. And here in red color, I wrote the explanation. Okay. Now I am moving to the question number H. Ah, right, right. Again, don't ask the screenshots of these uh, uh, questions, Nana. I can give my whiteboard only, not these things. If you want, you can take now only. After completing the class, don't ask. Right. Ah, come to here, eighth one. Ng's modulus of the, this is rod, Nana. Okay, uh, rod model, not yet discussed. So, yeah, why? Because we discussed about only stretched string. So, for a while, we skip this question. Why? Because not yet discussed in the class. Sharma, do you want that? Okay, okay, right, right. I will publish, no problem. Uh, now uh, come to the stretch string on the ninth one. This is a string of length 10 meters at a mass this much at a between uh, tension is this much at a if a transverse pulse is created at one end <coughs> of the string. Okay, simple. The time taken by it to reach the other end. Okay. Already I said, Nana, when the string is stretched horizontally, the transverse wave travels with the constant speed, which is equals to root of T by mu. Okay, T by mu. Mu is mass per unit length. This is a constant speed, Nana. Ah, Sharma, thank you. Uh, T by M by L. Okay, so first you try to calculate the speed of transverse pulse. Simple by substituting the values here given to you. So simple substitute root of tension. Tension is given as 50 divided by option one, na, na, na. Amok? Okay, very good, very good. We will check it. Mass is 1.25 divided by uh, length is 10. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, then this becomes 500 by 125. 1.25. If I cancel with uh, 5, I will get root of 100 by uh, 0 0.25. This I will make get as 10 by 0 0.5 that is equals to 20. <laughs> this is the velocity I got now. So simple. He is asking not the velocity time, but length of the string is given now. So from one end to the other end means it travels how much distance from here to there. Is it 0 0.5? Amok, you said option one. I think uh, Sharma also said wrong. 0 0.5 seconds, Anana. I don't think it's Sora. Why? Because from one end to the other end, the distance traveled is nothing but length of the string. So displacement is equal to 10. Velocity is equal to I got 20. So time taken means displacement by velocity. Why? Because travels with uniform speed. 
Oh, you are right. You are right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You are correct. Not a kill. One second. They are correct. Displacement ten by twenty. I thought that twenty by ten. It's my mistake only. Ten by twenty. That is equals to option one. Correct. Zero point five seconds. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. By B. Right, Sharma. Accept it. So option is first option. Okay. Understood this problem, Nana? Or any doubts? Any doubt in the question number nine? Understood. No doubt. Very good. Very good. Then we are moving to problem number ten. Okay, come to the problem number ten, Nana. Here, linear mass density given this much means mu. Oh, hmm. Amo, already solved. Very good. Very good. Keep it up. Maintain the same speed even in exams also. One point three into ten power minus four. A transverse wave propagates along the string is described by this much, like k x plus omega t. Tension in the string. To find out that tension, I think we require v, since v is equal to root of t by mu. So v, according to this equation, given equation, k equals to one, omega is thirty. So k equals to one comma omega equals to thirty. That implies v is equals to omega by k. That I am getting thirty. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, money conduct. I think you are right. You and Amog are correct. V equals to thirty. Okay. V equals to thirty means V is equals to root of t by mu. So by squaring on both sides, I will get V square. V square means thirty square equals to t by mu. One point three into ten power minus four. That implies nine. Thirty nine is up. Zero point one two, Nana. Uh, 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 uh. Is it correct? This is in meters or centimeters? In meters, time in seconds. Correct only. Ne, this is thirty nine hundred. Uh, correct only. Okay. So I am getting eleven point nine. Into ten power minus two after taking the cross multiplication. Exactly, exactly. So t is equal to zero point one one nine. That is exactly zero point means approximately zero point one two newtons. Okay. So <coughs> followed this tenth one, Nana. All of you. Right. So I'm moving to. If you want to uh, take the screenshot, take it. I'm moving to problem number eleven. Okay, going to problem number eleven here. Right. I think this is the last problem related to this question or uh, this model. The extension in the string is obeying the Hooke's law. Okay. Uh, within the elastic limit, what he is saying uh, is x. Okay, this one already we did in the on the whiteboard. Like v is directly proportional to root of elongation. I think we got there. Remember, v is equals to root of uh, y by rho into e by l. Correct, Nana. So v is directly proportional to root e. So straight away you can take here that implies ah uh, yeah root e by mu. From that we got Sharma this one only na root of t by mu we wrote it as root of y. Ah uh, right 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 y by rho into e by l. Yes. 
So directly you can write V1 by V2 is equals to root of E1 by E2. This is a simple question. First time velocity he gave it as V. Second time he is asking is equals to root of E1 E is first time X, second time 2X. Oh, sorry. Root of X divided by 2X. So XX cancel. You are getting uh, by taking the cross multiplication v2 is equals to root 2 times 2v. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Root 2 means 1.414. So root 2 times 2v. So you understood, Nana? Very good, very good. Right. So here, these are few questions related to one level. Okay. If you want to see the other level of questions. Okay. Then I move to another level here. Now, oh, sorry, I have to share it. Uh, now again, this is, once you see Nana, this is our college metal long, Nana. Uh, look at this one. A transverse wave is passing through a light string at a, this model also I did, I think, in the, uh, on the whiteboard. Uh, this is simple only. I think you can say P is equals to root of T by mu. I think mu is not given here. So I think he took mu as A into rho. Okay. And tension is mg. And velocity from this equation is omega by k is equals to root of t by a rho. T, shall I say here, oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, uh, omega by k equals to root of t, shall I write it as mg, mg by a rho. So by squaring on both sides, you are getting omega square by k square is equals to mg by a rho. Now choose the option which is correct, Nana. Ah, very good. Option three. So m equals to omega square into a rho by k square into g. Okay. So finally, I'm going with the third option. Ah, that is another method. If you uh, want to, you, you know the formula. Now. Why should we go through dimensions? If you don't know the formula, then we go through the dimensions. Okay. Even I am not saying your method is wrong. Even the dimensions, checking the dimensions also correct. Okay. But there is one disadvantage. Suppose for the, luckily here, uh, I think you will get, ah, uh, yeah, lengthy and that too, number of terms are there and that too, suppose unluckily two uh, options get the same dimensional formula, then it is mere waste of time. Okay. But in this question, uh, in this, A triple means main zone. Okay. So, oh, it's already 12.30. So, we try to stop with the eighth question, uh, just look at the eighth question. Try to say quickly. Try to say the answer as quickly as possible. Linear mass density is given. Tension in the string. Oh, again, he is going to use linear mass density given means root of directly you can write T by mu. So mu is equals to straight away I say T by V square after squaring and rearranging the terms, squaring on both sides and rearranging the terms, mu is equals to t by v square. Tension he is asking, oh, tension he is asking, 
so better i write tension is equals to by taking the cross multiplication t is equals to mu into v square ah yeah mu into v square b from this equation how much you say it is option 1 na na yeah okay okay so already you did omega by k okay option 1 na option 4 ra okay uh, two different options we are saying there okay then here look at nana time period in this equation this is appear like a sin 2 pi common t by capital t into x minus x by lambda okay so capital capital t means not tension nana time period okay if it is confusing better you take 2 pi into and write here omega t omega as 2 pi by 0.04 And k as two pi by zero point five. Yeah, anyone. Option one. But if you are saying option four, na na. Why you got two options there? Omega by k is the velocity that is equal to omega by k means two pi two pi cancel zero point five comes to the numerator by zero point zero four. Means multiply with hundred fifty by four twenty five by two. I am getting twenty five by two nana omega by k, which is velocity. Okay, that implies tension is equals to I write here. Oh my god, ah uh ah, -huh. tension equals to I write mu given as zero point zero four into v square. V square is six twenty five by four. Six twenty five by four means four four cancel. I am getting six point two five. I think option one is correct. Among you put third option. Yeah, yeah, correct only, Nana. Six point two five. Who put first option? Correct. I think only among put the fourth option. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, is it correct? Six point two five. Yes, yes. Okay, right. So by this we solve few numericals related to the stretches thing also today. Okay. So if you want to take the screenshot of these solutions and questions, you can take. This is the eighth question. And uh, <laughs> thank you, Sharma. And this is the answer for seventh question. Okay. Right. Okay, Nana.